the Ford Torino is back. He's here to do pink. We're gonna use uh, the Art to Shine Bio Clean and Shine this time just to give it a wipe down uh, and get it ready to be played. And then we'll decontaminate it to start on paint correction. So when we did the Chevelle last week, we borrowed the uh, Art to Shine Bio Clean and Shine from our little uh, product lineup over here. So this stuff we sell for $33 a bottle plus tax. It's pretty powerful. I would relate it closely to Fine Lab Pure Rinseless Wash, the way that it kind of appears on the surface when you spray it. It kind of doesn't beat up or nothing, and that's kind of what the Fine Lab Pure Rinseless is like. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, we'll just do a little fast little time lapse here, get the car clean, so you don't gotta be bored watching me wipe a car down. I'm gonna start to clay this. Uh, I got this kind of fancy bottle of detail spray from the detail firm here in uh, Yorba Linda, California. They sent me a whole sample kit. Their packaging, they went all out on. Uh, I even said to them, not sure how you guys made any money with the, the how nice this packaging is. Um, I'm not sure if this can be used as a clay lube because it just talks about being a detail spray on the back, uh, but I'm gonna try it out anyway, because, you know, why not? Uh, this thing feels really soft so far. Yes, I just, wipe the paint with my fingers, probably left some scratches behind, good thing we're doing paint correction. Uh, so I'm just gonna spray this detail spray here, and then we're gonna use this fine clay bar from Shine Supply to decontaminate. It smells kind of flowery. Give it a little wipe down now. Feels super slick. Oh wow, really slick. This thing was already had the uh, glossed ceramic spray on it from last week when we just did a car wash. And now this detail spray has made it even more slick. Woo! Not gonna use that towel anymore. All right, so let's do some paint correction now, finally. Uh, we did a review of the Glossit uh, Cut Finish 2000 product and I really liked it, it cut very well. We tested it for no fillers. So now I'm gonna use it to correct the Torino. So we went over and saw the swirls. So let's do a little pass here and see how it comes out. First pass, cleaned it up pretty good. There's still some stuff left behind to be expected. So I'm going to do another pass and see how many scratches we can realistically get out of here. But here is before, and here is after one pass. Looks way better. got this kind of awkward edge here, so I have out my uh, kind of weird Chinese polishy tool. It's got like a little one inch attachment. So we're gonna see how this does uh, on this edge. I know it's gonna hologram the crap out of it, basically a rotary.
Okay, it did absolutely nothing. All right, that tool is uh, useless for this. I think I'm gonna grab out the three inch, a little more power. All right, so I'm gonna grab my three inch uh, new Glosset Evo 12. I'm gonna try this out today instead of using my uh, Roots uh, three inch. So load this up with some polish. Go at this edge. Don't mind uh, the dog if you heard that. Gotta crank this thing up to like speed five to get a good cut. But it is comparable to the roof uh, three inch and it will blow the, at least the old version of the Griot three inch out of the water. It is having some trouble spinning on this edge though, even with a microfiber. So this is kind of a hard area to correct to begin with. I don't know what kind of results I'm going to get. So three inch, clean it up a little bit more. Still doesn't look great, but kind of a hard area to hit. So I've got Alex, he's doing some final polishing. This car's been kind of a doozy. Paint's pretty hard to cut into, so we've got everybody working on it now. So we're using our Evo 15 from Glosset and some Shine Supply Classic Cut. So we can polish out all this black on the front of the car and then we'll really brighten up all the orange. Here's how all the orange is right now. It's pretty hazy from cutting. I've had to do like four to five passes on every section here. It's, uh, and I had to redo the trunk from earlier because there was so much stuff left, especially in these curves by the little lip. Today, we are doing some window tint on the Torino. We're gonna do 5% limo tint. In order to do the back, we've got it all done up and crazy. And here's uh, the first part. It's finally time to coat the Torino, so we're gonna put some Arcshine Nano Graphene coating on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top off and uh, soak up some, or uh, prime the applicator. I think this will complement our paint correction work nicely. So we applied it in a cross hatch, uh, whatchamacallit, so just to make sure we hit all the product in the right places. And then we hit it with a wet towel and then buff to dry with a dry towel. Now I'm gonna turn my light on, make sure there's no streaking or anything left.
doing a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Shirley is cleaning the wheels using our uh, Shine Supply Solution all-purpose cleaner and some Ride Shine spray wax to shine them up afterwards and then we're going to dress the tires and make it look pretty. So we've got the Torino coated, got a layer of Arctashine graphene on there. It is looking super glossy. We're going to IR cure the paint with our IR lamp. And we've got Shirley over here cleaning the windows. So all that's left is just cleaning the windows, uh, curing the coating with an IR lamp, which we've been experimenting with lately. We already cleaned out the interior. Looks super fresh in here. Got these fresh limo window tints, which looks sick on this car. I wasn't expecting to like it so much. Kind of try to sell them on a chrome delete. I think that would look pretty cool. So I'm gonna grab out the IR lamp. We'll get curing. So I have yet to really touch on IR curing. Um, I don't really feel like it does anything. So IR curing is supposed to make the coating harder, glossier, cure faster, except it doesn't get you to that first wash any quicker. So it doesn't really make any sense. You still gotta wait a week or two, depending on what your coating is. Uh, I know Fine Lab requires the IR curing for the self-healing coatings to work properly, although I have installed those with both IR curing and without and seen no difference. Um, I'm just kind of messing around with it since we're back at the shop now. It's much easier to use the IR lamp. So we've got the graphene coating, we're curing that. So we'll see if it actually makes it any better or not, but I don't really believe in it. Uh, especially being here in California where as soon as we let the car go, it goes out onto a hot sunny day and probably gets just as hot as this IR lamp does uh, if it's sitting at least on some of the top panels. Uh, you're supposed to IR cure from 36 inches away, usually about 12 minutes per panel seems to be the standard for most coatings I've seen uh, with their directions for it. And yeah, it's supposed to make it harder and glossier, but I don't know. So we're just playing around. The Torino is all done. So let's do a little final walk around here. It's super glossy. Has some Reno window films, a ceramic tint on it. It's gonna be rainy the next couple days and I need to put this video out. So we're just doing an indoor walk around in case we don't get to see it outside. And then I'll leave the link to the other video with this car if you wanted to hear it start up. Uh, since the other video we did when we evaluated this car, uh, you can check out the very loud exhaust on it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Uh, and then don't forget to share our content with your friends and family and other car enthusiasts. And stay tuned for more classic cars and other detailing content.